welcome to this session. In this session, you will understand how the data are to be analyzed. Before I come to the analysis of the data, I will like to take you back to what exactly is a research. You have also understood that research is a process and if it is a process then there are different steps. I will take you to different steps and when I am discussing the steps, one of the steps will be data analysis and you already know that data are of two types. One is the qualitative data, another is the quantitative data. You also know that qualitative information can be converted into quantitative, but it is advisable not to do so because in converting a qualitative data into quantitative data there will be lot of loss of the information. So, therefore, we should avoid converting a qualitative data into the quantitative data. Now, in this lecture I will only focus on the analysis of the quantitative data. Once we have understood this, then I will definitely like to differentiate between two types of the statistics that one will be using. One is called a parametric statistics, another a, para, a non parametric statistics. Then I will come to the end of this particular session. So, to start with what exactly is a research? Now, let us understand what is a research. Research refers to a process wherein activities are carried out systematically to find solution of the problem. I have given the general definition of research. The same definition can be modified so as to become the definition of research in education. Research in education can be defined as a process wherein activities are carried out systematically to find solution of the problem related to some aspect of education. After understanding the definition of educational research, let us understand the steps involved in conducting the research. The first step in the research is identification of the problem. The second step is formulation of hypothesis. Here it is important to understand that there are researches where data will be of qualitative in nature and this data cannot be analyzed with the help of a statistical technique. Therefore, in this particular case the hypothesis cannot be tested and hence hypothesis should not be formulated in case of qualitative research. But if you are converting the qualitative data into quantitative which one should not do, but if you want to do it then you get a quantitative data. But if you are collecting the quantitative data, then whenever the data are quantitative in nature, then in that case the hypothesis can be formulated because the hypothesis can be tested with the help of a statistical technique. Now, the next step is the data collection. Now, as a researcher you must be knowing the population and if you know the population then you know how to select a sample. 
So, you will be collecting the data, collecting the information from that sample of that population. Now, once you want to collect the information, then you must know about the tool or you must know about the instrument which you will use in order to collect the data. And the last one in this is you must know which method of research you will be using to collect the data. The last step of the research is data analysis. Now, before I come to the two types of the statistical techniques, let us understand two concepts. One concept is parameter, another concept is statistics. Whenever the data are collected from all members of the population and from this data, when you calculate mean, SD or any other a statistic then it is known as parametric statistics and this mean will be parameter. But whenever from the population a sample is taken and if you collect the data from the sample, from this data if you calculate mean, SD or any other thing then this is referred as statistics. Now, statistical techniques are classified under two categories. One is parametric statistics and another is non-parametric statistics. The non-parametric statistics is also called distribution free statistics. Now, let us understand the difference between parametric statistics and non-parametric statistics. In parametric statistics, the data should have a normal distribution. In non-parametric statistics, it can be any distribution. I hope you know that dif distributions can be of different types like exponential distribution, U distribution, regular distribution, chi-square distribution and normal distribution. So, therefore, for non-parametric statistics distribution can be any. The second is that in parametric statistics your data should be either on the interval scale or ratio scale. In case of non-parametric statistics your data can be on any scale that is either a nominal scale, ordinal scale, interval scale or ratio scale. The last difference is that the parametric statistics is more powerful whereas, non-parametric statistics is less powerful. 